Hello and welcome to the Tamora D Chow Chow Vlog. In this week's episode, we will be covering the topic of hotspots. As you can see here, Squidge has got itself into a bit of a pickle. This is a fresh hotspot. And I will now be showing you how easily it is to get these treated effectively at home. You can see me here cutting the mats out. This is for a couple of reasons. Firstly, these mats are pulling on her skin and will be adding to the pain she's already in caused by the hot spot. Secondly, as they're quite wet, they're adding moisture and therefore keeping the hot spot at its worst. And lastly, slightly selfishly, it's going to help my clippers to get through the matted hair. You can see here in my speeded up mode that I'm clipping the hair. I'm doing this to relieve the hot spot as much as possible. The quickest way to heal the hot spot is to let it dry out. And it's not going to do that if it's in a hot, sticky environment. Obviously, dog hair will keep the heat from the body. And every time she licks at it or nibbles at it, she's adding more moisture and the hair just doesn't dry as fast. I'm doing my very best to cut away from the wound. I do not want to put clippers onto that extremely sensitive area. So I'm making sure that I clip away from the wound and giving myself a nice margin around the hot spot. So in a bowl, I've put some hot water and I'm using this. This is Triz scrub, um, otherwise known as Hibby scrub. As you can see, it's an antibacterial skin cleanser and surgical scrub. It's what your vets will use to prep themselves when they're cleaning your dogs or um, when they go into surgery. So good stuff. I'm going to pour a little bit into the warm water. I haven't made it too hot. I don't want to hurt her. It's not going to be massively comfortable. Just give a stir. My hands are clean. I'm just taking some cotton wool pads. And I'm going to help. Be quite wet to start with. It's slimy. Good girl. Good girl. It is slimy and yucky where she's been attacking it. So just good girl. I'm sorry, baby girl. I'm sorry, baby girl. What you can see here is this is obviously where she started the hole, but she's been nibbling under here and made it really quite sore and red. Good girl. Good girl. Now, just for those who wonder, I put her out in the paddock three hours ago and there was nothing there. She had a full hands on check this morning because she had a previous hot spot last week. So she has done this in a matter of hours. We will be taking her to the vet just because it's, as it's the second one in a few in a few weeks, I'm going to make sure that she needs some steroids or just some antibiotic just to help clear this one up. I'm now taking some of the dry pads. And I'm just going to help take any excess liquid out. Then when this is dry later, we will apply some um, metanium nappy rash cream. I'm also going to give her an antihistamine and because of the size of this one, good girl, you can sit down, good girl, I know it's very stingy. Um, I am going to give her some Loxicom, um, otherwise known as Metacam, just as it's an anti-inflammatory and a painkiller, just to help her recover this. And we will come back and see it a little bit later when it's all dry and I can put the cream on it to help dry it out a little bit more. This is the hot spot, all clean and dried and ready for the application of the Metanium Nappy Rash Cream. So this is my Metanium Cream. I'm just going to use a pea amount. I don't need a huge amount. And what I want to do is very gently, good girl, is touch it on and spread a very, very thin layer. This cream dries as a powder. Good girl, good girl. Right in there where it's sore. Just a very thin layer. And as you can see from the scab, it's already, I've been applying this a few times now. Just let that sit on the skin. The Metanium Nappy Rash Cream 
has anti-inflammatory properties which will help take the sting out of the hot spot but on top of that as it dries as a powder it'll help keep the hot spot dry and therefore aid its healing in speeding up the drying out process that's so important with a hot spot. This cream is available at most supermarkets or pharmacists. After a consultation with our vet, it was decided that Squidge needed some antibiotics, especially as this had been her second hotspot in as many weeks. The Noroclav tablet was one tablet twice a day, and we also gave her Loxicom once a day. On top of that, I chose to give her the citrazine hydrochloride, or an antihistamine, as I know this also helps to take away the itch. So this is her hotspot this morning, first day. As you can see, we're already starting to get a scab on this area. She has got a bit of goop to the side here. But I'm just putting a little bit more of the hippie scrub on it, just taking away any other nasties. And then once this is dry, we'll apply another layer of the Metanian cream. You can add the cream three to four times a day, a very thin layer. So the idea is that it dries as a powder, it'll help take the sting out and it will help her dry that wound out too. So we'll just leave that dry now, pat it down again. Good girl, come here. I know it's a bit stingy, isn't it? Good girl, but already she's less tender on it than she was yesterday. So here is Squidge two weeks later. As you can see, it's already shrunk in size. The margins have grown greatly, so the hot spot is shrinking and hair has started to regrow in the middle. And I'm sure that within the next month or so, the hair will have completely regrown and you'll be unknown that she's had a hot spot there at all.